Hi, this is Jordan from Giro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make espresso at home. So what you'll need for this is coffee, an espresso machine, grinder, and scales. So some of you will have uh, espresso machines at home, and so today we're going to be sort of showing you how to get the very best out of them. The coffee that we're going to be using today is uh, from our partners at Giro, Workshop Coffee. So the coffee we have is Pampa Blanco Espresso. Uh, these are available to purchase from our website in either 250 gram bags or two kilo bags of this one for those who drink a lot of coffee. The important thing about making coffee is making sure you get the recipe right. Now, when I'm talking about the recipe, I'm talking about the ratio between the coffee that you grind and the espresso that you make. Now, each coffee will be different, but as a really good guide, we tend to grind 18 grams of coffee to yield about 30, 34 grams of espresso. And the length of that pour is gonna be about 30 seconds. Now, if that sounds a bit complicated, don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it. So it all starts with the grind. So I'm gonna clean my porter filter. First thing I'm gonna do is weigh so these scales are available from Giro. Uh, they're great because they have a timer in as well. So I'm just going to tear that and I'm going to grind the coffee. Perfect, 18 grams. So the next thing we're going to do is tamp it. So with the tamp, you want to put a gentle tamp at first just to make sure it's nice and level and put a really firm pressure down. Then I'm just going to wipe off any excess coffee from the top here. And here we go into our machine. So next thing that we're gonna do is time the coffee and weigh the coffee that we're, that we're pouring. So I've got a smaller scale which you can buy, otherwise this one will work. I'm gonna tear that cup, and then as I start the coffee to pour, it should take about 30, 34 seconds. I'm gonna start my timer here, and off we go. So that's 30 grams coffee, and that's 30 grams on the timer here. And you can see here, Lovely, sort of nice golden brown crema, and it's all about the taste. So one more thing I'm going to show you is how to get really nice barista quality milk. It's quite simple. The first things first, we're going to do the same process again and get our coffee, but get it into a slightly bigger cup. So as you see, we've got 30 grams of espresso in this cup. That's from 18 grams of ground espresso. Now that took about 30 seconds to pour, which is kind of perfect. Check your recipes with the, the coffee that you're using. As a rule of thumb, that works out pretty well. If you find it's pouring too quickly, that means that your grind is too coarse. If you find that it's pouring too slowly, that means that your grind is too fine. So you, the, the difference here is not in the espresso machine, it's in, in the grind. All right, so now we've got our coffee in our cup. Um, we're gonna steam the milk. Now I don't drink dairy milk, my sort of choice is oat milk. Oatly make a really good barista uh, specific milk, but in the shop we use a brand called Minor Figure, so I really recommend those. So I'm just gonna pour maybe sort of a third full of this. It's important that you don't get it too hot. When you're steaming, you wanna make sure this is, gets to the point where it's a little bit too hot to touch. You don't wanna boil it, otherwise you're gonna burn all the milk and you lose all the sweetness of the milk. <laughs> I'm just wanting to be really consistent with how the milk's spinning. Oh, yeah. Let a bit of excess steam out. Now what we do here is we're just tapping to get any air bubbles that are locked in there out. And you should have a really lovely consistent milk as we have here. Now the pour. Start high and then drop down low to reveal the crema. And that's that. Ready for you to enjoy it.